Welcome. Tonight we celebrate the birth of Jesus, the birth of God's Son. What a precious gift to all the world. Ever since that first night of God's gift to us over 2,000 years ago, we have celebrated Jesus' birthday by giving gifts. The three kings brought gifts of incense, gold, and myrrh to the baby Jesus. Christmas is a holiday of gifts, all kinds of gifts. Christmas is the time of the greatest gift giving. We exchange gifts among our family. We buy a gift for someone in need. We give because God gave his most precious gift to us, his son, Jesus. And what can we bring to God as a gift this Christmas? That is what I would like to share with you today. Well, Santa certainly knows something about giving gifts. I'm sure he does. What a joy to have him worship with us tonight. What a gift he gives to take time from his busy schedule to be with Jesus in worship. Well, this certainly is Santa's busiest time of the year, and all of his helpers have been very busy trying to get ready for Christmas. I see, uh, Santa, you have quite a few of your helpers uh, here tonight. I'm sure now all of their preparations have been completed. I know all about getting prepared for Christmas. At home, my family has been preparing over these past four weeks. We put up a Christmas tree and decorated the house. We bought gifts to give and wrapped most of them already. And of course, each day we prayed and shared an Advent devotion together as a family so that we could be ready for Christmas Day. Well, that's really good, Pastor Mike, and you've made every effort to be prepared for Christmas. You know, the most important part of your preparation is not the tree or the decorations, but the time you and those that you love took time to read the Bible and to pray together. You mean our Christmas tree and lights, all our decorations and the gifts we wrapped are not important? Well, the real reason for this season is to celebrate the birth of Jesus, which is God's greatest gift to us all. Jesus is the light of hope and love to our world. All the Christmas lights and all of the candles in the windows do is to announce to the whole world that Jesus is giving us the gift of light. And the evergreens that we use for our Christmas trees tell us that this light of hope and love is with us forever. You're right. The lights and decorations and trees all help us to prepare to worship God who has given us such a marvelous gift in his son, Jesus. Speaking of gifts, why then do we give gifts to each other when really it's not our birthday, but Jesus? Well, gifts to a time seem to be such an important part of this season of joy and hope. And for that reason, some of us have mistakenly thought that that was the reason for the season. It's not, you know. It's not Santa and his helpers and his gifts but because of Jesus and his love for all of us. You're right. Gifts sometimes seem to take up all our thoughts and energy, not to mention money. Gifts shouldn't be our focus, but rather Jesus should be. We give gifts not to get gifts or to have others think well of us, but because our hearts are filled with the gift born to us in a manger stall in Bethlehem so many years ago. That's why, even though it's Jesus' birthday, we give gifts to others. Yes, Jesus loves me, loves you, and all of us, and especially all of the children. Santa's helpers give gifts to express their care and love for others. But you know, something really special happens then. Jesus loves us with such a special love that when you give a gift to someone in love, it's as though you're giving a gift to Jesus himself. 